Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of Cozy Rock's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2005. The Cozy Rock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, I'll show you how to copy data over from account records in Dynamics CRM to a SQL Server table. We'll only copy the data from records that have been modified since the last time this package was run. In order to accomplish this, we'll need to create a query dynamically at runtime using an expression and fetch XML. Alright, so the first thing we did was we set up our variable, which is called date last run. And then we set up an execute SQL task, and we set up the connection manager here, and we set the result set to a single row, and then we configure our SQL statement. And here is what that select statement looks like that we use to retrieve the date. Now we'll go to result set, and as you can see, save date is the name of the column in our SQL Server table where we remember the date and date last run is the variable name that I showed you earlier that we set up. Now we go to the data flow canvas. We already have our component configured with this fetch XML statement so I wanted to show it to you here because it's a bit easier to read than when we convert it into an expression. And now I'm going to show you how I set up the expression so we right mouse click on the canvas and we choose properties and here under miscellaneous, you can see where our fetch XML property is that contains the statement I just showed you. And now we go down to expressions, and we'll open this up, and you can see that we chose as our property the dynamic CRM source fetch XML property. And I'll click on the ellipsis so you can see the actual expression. And the fetch XML portion of this is the same as what I just showed you. The difference being the addition of this uh, filter for on the date last run. So we'll only retrieve the records that have been modified since this date. Okay, now we'll go back to the control flow canvas. And at the end, we use another execute SQL task and this time we're going to save the date that we're running this project and we set up the connection manager again and we configured our SQL statement as you can see here to update the date that we saved in the SQL Server table. Now we're ready to execute and we'll detach so it can complete and you can see the only two records there that have been modified since the last time the package was run. And we'll go look at the SQL Server. Here's our table with the save date in it. And as you can see, it was 11-1 of 2012 was the previous time the package was run. And now it's been updated with the date that I made this video, which is December 10th, 2012. One more thing I want to tell you about is that we have posted a reusable script for Dynamics CRM Lookup on the Cozy Rock website. You can use this script with the Cozy Rock Script Component Plus. This script is useful because it allows a lookup against the Dynamics CRM data. In summary, I have shown you how easy it is to set up Cozy Rock's Dynamics CRM Source Component to use a dynamic query that is modified at runtime using an expression and fetch XML. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.